everybody and welcome back to another episode of the dark descent into horror if it wasn't scary enough you can see behind me christmas has started throwing up in my house yay that, that is scary because fuel just does not get the christmas vibe you and your vibes see what happens when it's on fire <laughs> You light my Christmas decorations on fire. The millions of dollars I have in Christmas decorations. The millions. I will end. You do not have any idea how much money I have spent in Christmas decorations. I'm pretty sure it's not nice. I'm pretty sure there's a pretty decent amount. Anyway. Well, then you could sell it. And, you know, or how about, no, they're my collectibles. That better place. I am not selling my Darth Vader as Santa Claus. You are nuts I'm sticking with fire anyway guys thank you guys for coming back as always I am Amanda from AGP next to me is Fuel the Hatred from Fuel the Hatred say hi Fuel I could do that but I start with fire this is why you lose followers they run from you you scare them well shoot at Anyway, guys, today we're going to do something that we did last season. We're going to check out some creepy, scary videos over on YouTube, some shorts. We're going to read, well, I'll react to them and few will sit there going, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm laughing. Because I'm pretty sure Fuels has the range of a rock when it comes to horror and never gets scared. There's something deeply disturbing about that, by the way, Fuel. Yeah, range of a rock. Okay. Your range of emotions is about a rock. Yeah. Mm. I mean, look look at the excitement you have right now for this. I mean, you started off with Christmas decorations, so I mean, I don't see where the excitement's supposed to be. Hey, look, Fuel! It's Ords! Hi, Ords! What are you doing, you beauty? So they better not have pineapple on it. Ew, that's so gross. They actually do have an emoji now with pineapple on a pizza. It's kind of gross. Yeah, we'll freaking burn it. <laughs> <laughs> so the first video that we're going to actually check out and react to is called In the Depths. It's a horror short film. And of course, as always, I will definitely put a link to the little short film right up where everybody can see. Hey, okay. Um, it started. Oh, you know, things are good, or it's things are good. And yes, she did say gross. <laughs> yeah, I said gross. No, I like pineapple. I like pizza. I just don't like the two things together. It's ewy. So here is the link to the first video that we are going to be watching called In the Depths. And let. Call the brain. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sure you can put it back together, man. It, it'll be fine. <laughs> At least you have one. We both know Fuel doesn't. When you say both, you mean me? Because I, of course I know I don't have one. No, I meant Ords and I both know you don't have a heart. <sighs> it's a specialty. Oh, lady, can't see. Okay, so what that means is that while we're down there... Well, somebody was late to the meeting. You're fired. While we're down there, we need to make sure we hold on to our line with at least one hand at all times, okay? Nobody wants a hospital visit when we're three kids down. What do you? Uh, cool. So sure. We have lost a few this week, which means Ross and Zaga will be a bit tight. So we need to keep <laughs> Main line, you'll be dead otherwise. Uh, excuse me. So, like, are they gonna be cave diving or something? What do you think that's about? Well, hopefully not in those outfits. Seriously, I'll be killed for sure. Okay, your headband is obviously on backwards. Did you see the upside down? Did you see that? Look. Yes. Yes, 
Okay, sorry. Lady! <coughs> Good lord. They're going into the basement. Hey, Trace, how's it going? They surely are. Hey, don't Trace. Why do you care so much? I don't know, maybe they found something. Do you think they found my fake ID? What? Because I'm a minor. Oh, you guys even ow, that hurt so bad. Yeah? It doesn't sound like it. Yes, Sandy. It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sandy, do you mind repeating what I just told the group? Really? Really? Mm. Hold on to your Hold rope and don't line. die. And? and? Remember your safety line. Okay, if there's a tear in your main line, you will be dead otherwise. I just about to say something. Sure. Uh, Brad, Sandy, and Aaron, you guys will be on light maintenance today. You may go. Well, this will be fun. Well, not for you, I guess, but <coughs> for me. <laughs> Just tell it like it is, why don't you, buddy? He probably knows about Gus. <laughs> and they were never seen again. <clears throat> so do you have any plans after all this? Yeah, I was thinking maybe just go for a nice long holiday, maybe somewhere sunny. Yeah, I guess need me some of that. You can come if you want. Um, phrasing? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, choke a little bit more, buddy. <laughs> can you check my line, bro? Uh, yeah, brother. Yeah, I thought so. This, is, this was made by Aussies. Check my line, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, so they're already down there. Okay. Oh, well, it's dead. Don't say it. <laughs> Oops. Nice one. Thanks. If I ever need tools dropped in the future, I know who to call. Look, I feel this girl. Okay, first off, I feel this because every time I'm working on something, do you know how many times I drop the screwdriver or the screw trying to do shit? So, dude, don't be making no. fun of her. I feel this. I know. See, right now, okay, that look on her face, okay? She's trying not to murder him, okay? <laughs> I'll just, you know, deflect it with humor and all, but you're going to die later. You're a dickhead. <laughs> I mean, I guarantee right. putting up the Christmas tree today, I'm going to drop the screwdrivers and stuff like 80 million times just trying to put the damn tree up. I feel her. Right here. Yeah, see, he wants to feel her, but he's not going to. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> like us. No I shit. No. I think that comment was more to you than me. What, you think he likes you? Like a brother. Tentacle really? comes up right next to him with a drop screwdriver. Lady, thanks, boy. <laughs> Safety line. Wait a minute. Mother, mother, go up now. We're almost done. Stop fucking around and go back up. You've got like five left. I'll do it quick. Go up now. What the fuck's his problem? I don't know. Maybe you should. What the fuck's his problem? You're arguing with him and he's probably the <laughs> boss. And piss off. Who has the safety line anyway? It's, it's safe, sorry. Look, if the guy's telling you to go up, go up. I mean, Trace just talked about tentacles. You better get out. If I fall, catch me. Here with the screwdriver. <laughs> hey! Stop! Why can't? Oh! 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 Fuck! Where the, no! Where where are the gloves? Freaking idiots. Look, I know it seems like you could have done more to save them, but the fact is you did everything you could. More, in fact. Well, Trace was half right. 
He chose not to attach the safety line. How the hell do they have no clue? Exactly! <laughs> Why don't you take the rest of the day, Sandy? <sighs> yeah. Get back to your quarters. Well, at least no one will have to put up with these jokes anymore. Every brain would still hurt with them on, but damn, yeah. Are you okay? Uh, I know you two are close. If you need anything. Fine. No, his is on back upside down too. <laughs> sir! <laughs> sir! Idiot! Thank you. Wait a minute. Yeah. See, see that? Has it breach? Oh, those tentacles are getting in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Right. Product placement. I've already seen one. The Energizer batteries. Pay attention, Patrick. Yeah. Fucking Coke. You know, Goddamn. when you're... Pay attention, Patrick. <laughs> you know, when you have a tough job where you have to go down into the depths and your friend just died because he didn't put a safety line on, sit back and have a Coke. It'll make everything much better. No, you forgot it. It's gonna be Coke and hey. a smile. Okay. Gonna laugh your problems away. Hey, no one's supposed to be down there. Hey, <laughs> who's who's that on the road? Oh shit! So oh damn. That's why you pay attention, Patrick. Oh yeah, see Energizer on the fucking thing there. Oh yeah. That's it. It's a brand as well. Batteries, though, for some reason. Don't worry, I'm sure you can see this line. Sandy! Oh, oh, help him close the door! Lock everything in there, fuck them all. Oh! No, that was abrupt. No! What the fuck? It wasn't Brad. I'm fine. Yeah. No. To me now. Listen to this man. For the love of God, listen to this man, because he's the only one with any goddamn car. Oh my god, it's lifting the door. Run. Off the light. He's the smart one, so you won't say, like, yeah, she won't listen and he's dead. That's how this works. Yeah. I know. Feckless she's running idiots. around. I get, I get, I get, I get. What the fuck are you trying to do, you dumb shit? Now turn off your goddamn light! Hey, cut! Wait for it. <laughs> Come on! Get it, Brad! No. Oh, okay. He's got a thick skull, apparently. I mean, we already, we already knew that, but still. Oh, of course, he goes after the woman. That's the first smart thing she's done this entire thing! Yeah, but she dropped the crowbar, so yeah, now it's balancing out. Brad, you got red on you, buddy. You just beat the shit out of him with a crowbar, and he's still chasing after you. I'm pretty sure he could break down that door. Oh, hey, guys. See, so you've met our friend. <sighs> I see you were hiding in here before I got here. How'd that work? <laughs> it's right. Isn't it? That's a really dangerous way of thinking about it. How is you that seem awfully dangerous? Calm. Exactly. So, how'd you get away? Again, he's awfully calm. 
distracted him with the boiler. So. Don't say him. Eh, he's probably just but more well adjusted. That is not Brad. Not anymore. And thinking otherwise is going to get you killed. But what if he's still in there? What if something's just wrong? Stop. Just stop. Okay. He's a chat. quick to draw conclusions that that's not the guy that looks like that guy. Serial killers, and there is no mm. coming back from that. So what's the plan? There's a gun in the technician's office. Do you think that'll kill him? There, there is no Bradley, only Zool. Yeah, no Zool, shit, man. motherfucker! I wish I had better news for you, Sandy. I honestly do. And I hope we get out of here. I just don't... Oh, wait, it came from the depths, so it's going to be Kazulu. <laughs> Demolitions. I'm sorry, you want to blow him up? Yes! I can just... Can yeah, play a B for blow the fuck out. What's the one thing we learned up. about aliens? We it take off and we nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Not if I have a gun. Ugh. Okay, crowbar to the face didn't work. You really think shooting him is going to make it different? What? <laughs> outside the box please like this you'd think they'd have some acid around somewhere <laughs> oh well that's it game over man game over damn straight Well, Someone she finally turned off the light. Sandy! <laughs> a it's hugging me. Something's wrong. Would you track him? No, look, um, um, you're in my personal bubble, get off. <laughs> well, well, let me see. How long have you known? I have no idea uh, what you're talking beneath about. Beneath that calm exterior. How long have you beats known? Beats a lion, motherfucker. A couple of hours. Bullshit. Tell her how long you've known. A couple of days. But okay. we didn't know what it was. Three weeks ago, you were told to seize all operations. But you refused that order. And yet you came to work. Was what the fuck's wrong with you? That's right. This is fucking unsafe work environment. Damaged pulleys, cables. And yet you came to... the maintenance oh, room. <laughs> so what do I need you to take that Stanley on? I say we you shoot your ass and we leave. Strongly consider it. Think about it. Do it. You know he would hear the shot and he would come running. Use the box cutter, then lady. shoot him as well. Yes. Wait, hold on. I was gonna say, what happened to Patrick? No Is he the one that got head stomped? We make it out alive. He's, <laughs> he's already made up his mind. <laughs> oh, fucking right in the. Yeah. <laughs> Reloaded. I'm sorry, the knife did nothing but shock the head. <laughs> nope, Frank's dead. What do we do now? He said to load the gun, bitch! Out of the bullets! Huh? How could it be out of fucking bullets? You just shot him one time. Crappy's hand, dude. A chain. Really? Yeah, but that hurt. Oh! Oh, yeah, see? Told you. Thick skull and all. Oh. 
female can breed with this one. Or smash its head, I guess. Way good either way. How's your face? Good? Fuck him. <laughs> you need the meat pie. <laughs> Liberty is good. I think it brings attention to the fear of death. Damage. Now. You're not a brain surgeon. <laughs> Sandy. It's okay. We can take the elevator up. We'll go to a hospital. We have a gun. Ray can't stop us. Right, yeah, let's take the elevator. That way the thing can follow us. It'll be great. Communication light. All of it. We have to kill him in demolitions. That. That might just work. Okay, okay, we're back to your favorite thing, Phil. Blow it up. Sandy. Well, I mean, they were onto a good thing. Why did they switch plans? I'll be a dead man. Your dead audience. <laughs> Swipe. Oh. Yeah. That's the way. You need to move while we have the upper hand. I'll watch the motion sensors for as long as I can. You think maybe you're a I'll bit concussed you there, buddy? When I spot him. <laughs> but after that, it's all you. Okay. Oh, hi! Told you. Told you. Hi, baby. Thanks, Aaron. Hi, Daisy. Sandy. Kill it good. Yeah, you go out there and blow it up. I'll be in here in the troll room, safe and shit. Well, at least it's not the octity mines. Copy. Please, Don't worry. weird. I've got you. <laughs> Am I clear? Looks clear. I'm not getting any more for you. <sighs> Close enough. It's moving right towards you. You're somehow avoiding sensors. You can still make it to demolitions from four. Yeah, you said it was clear. I said it looks clear. What does it look like now? It looks clear. It's coming, sir. It needs a code! Move, Dallas. Oh my, it's not working! Yes, sweetie? No. <laughs> Next turtle, screaming. She's having a damn light off this time. About mm -hmm. time she did something smart. <laughs> Shit. 
Tizzy, what are you doing? <laughs> What you want to do is turn the light on and fuck it off over there in the corner. And when he chases it, you shoot him in the head again. Wait. These zombified genetic mistakes growls at me about my cause extended warranty. <laughs> Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Cthulhu? He lives just down there in the basement. No, don't run from the Lord. <laughs> That right from get go. They want to move in the opposite direction away from the dynamo no, unit. Don't, no, don't. No. Yeah, remember the explosion? <laughs> oh. This is the bit where you slowly walks towards her and all the, the flesh melts off like the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, all those good memories. <laughs> yeah, only 30 minutes ago, he just wasn't trying to kill me. Now he's on fire. Okay. But you stop. Well, was the other guy dead too or something? What happened? I guess so. Man, he was only headbutted. <laughs> the hell? Oh. So why are you going anywhere near that thing again? No. Yeah, but what happened to the elevator? He was cute and he wanted to eat me. Well, what happened? Demonic possession from a cave beast, damage to the facility, running, screaming, staff died. It was a whole thing. Still wanted to eat me, just not in the fun way. <laughs> <laughs> tragic. Very tragic. Tragic very circumstances. Very. Uh, so that was called Into the Depths from Liam Carter. Like I said, you could definitely go check it out. I put the link over into the description. Um, I do know that it won Best Horror Film and Best Visual FX in 2021. Best Independent Shorts Award of 2021. Best Editing and Best Supporting Actor. Hmm. Did it say who the Best Supporting Actor was? Or that was an honorable mention. For the no. short for short films, okay. but I, I will say this: <laughs> when you're trying to hide, you have to turn off your fucking light. God damn! Why oh, she, she the do these time. people have their lights on? Uh, why? Like 
You don't remember Jurassic Park? They don't know how to flip a switch. You turn the light off. I can't. It must be broken or something. Because you're a moron. Uh, no! <laughs> anyway, if you hide in the dark, you don't use a normal light. You use IR and goggles to see. That is the shit. This is why Trace is allowed to be on my apocalypse team. Fuel's not allowed to be on my apocalypse team because well, Fuel's the type bad. of person. You would kill <laughs> us all no. to save your own skin. Yes, you would. Uh, no, see, everyone has value. Yeah, for food later, according to you. Yeah, yeah, but see, you're thinking like I would just kill you straight away. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking that you would kill us straight away. You know, you're you're already pre-plotting, okay, who do I eat first? Who do I keep around the longest? But eventually they'll all die to serve my own purpose of my own survival. Actually, one film I saw used an IR camera and a cell phone. So, yeah. So they do it in horror games these days. Instead of they're not use the you know the infrared shit, but um, at least they use the, the cell phones to see shit around the place. What was it? Um, Cry of Fear. You know that free game on Steam. Mm -hmm. except, except you've got to juggle the phone with all the rest of your crap in your inventory, so it takes up a space. I think. And if you want to use it at the same time as as your weapon, and you can only use it with your handgun. You can't reload the handgun because your hand's holding the phone. So you literally need to put your light away just so you can reload. It's complex, but it makes sense. I mean, if it works, it works. And if it makes it more realistic, then it makes it more realistic. I mean, for an off-light mod, it was pretty damn good. Because yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> when you go to carry a ladder, apparently that fits into your inventory. <laughs> it takes up one slot. So the next one we are going to do, let me go ahead and grab the link real quickly. And this is from um, that that uh, one movie place that we got a lot from the clips from season, a lot of them that we reacted to in season one, uh, Alter, the one with like the teeth. Uh, Remember the, one, the kids yeah, knocking out their milk, teeth? Yeah, milk teeth and yeah. the bells and all that stuff. Yeah, so this is from Alter and it is called The Mayflower. See, it's perfect. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Wasn't the Mayflower like the fucking the name of that that mall or whatever the hell that burned down in mirrors? You know? Well, yeah, the, yeah, they, the, they called it the Mayflower, Sutherland. but yeah, I was thinking Mayflower. more across yeah. I was thinking more of the Mayflower from like, you know, the pilgrims and the Mayflower and the crap that they fed us as kids in America on how uh Thanksgiving's all about how the pilgrims came over on the Mayflower, landed on Plymouth Rock, they were starving the Indians with poor little white people, let us feed you, and then we all had little turkey hand decorations at the end of it. And that was Thanksgiving. I'm sure that's how it went down too. Um, hundred percent, no. I call bullshit. I'm calling and bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm going with my disintegrated shopping mall with the killer mirrors. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> I call bullshit. Come on, some of those deaths were hilarious, especially when that blonde got her head ripped open. <laughs> what? No, that's not funny. It's totally funny. I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> Couldn't happen to someone more deserving. That was so... Uh -uh. Anyway... Anyway, let's get to the short film because I'm um, feel scaring the shit out of me. Also, it's a little giant ladder. Fits right in your pocket. Feels terrifying. And share screen and let's go. The Mayflower. From Altar. Why does that look like a plane shape? Oh, we're in space. Oh, cool, we're in space. Pilgrims in space! Oh, well. 
It is from the ball. With rock landed on them. Are you feeling okay, Anthony and Preston? Shit. Yeah. <sighs> I'm okay, mate, because I just had a bad dream as well. Okay, it's never good if you're in space and you have a computer you're system that talks to you. To really need to stop messing with the ball. I know, right? I mean, look what happened with the event horizon. I don't. Hypersleep. How long have I been under? Three months. What? I don't. Cognitive Is there any volume we can add to this? Press this full. Yeah. Damn. I, uh... That's quiet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you all right, Preston? Yeah, just. No, no, he's not. <sighs> I just need to change my pants. I'm not wearing the right shade. Your system has been functioning on artificial compounds for the duration of hypersleep. I suggest you make your way to the Cairo quarters. Yeah. Okay. Well, that looks edible. Oh, the crew makers. Life signs are all registering as normal engineering. This process. ship looks like it's rusting. Or it's about to. Three months my ass looks more like three decades. I mean, is he the only one on this ship? Because I can't just He just asked about life signs or something, didn't he? I know it's difficult. Life signs are all registering as normal. Let's go back. Oh, oh the crew makers. Life signs are all registering as normal. Yeah. Engineer Preston. Okay, so what? He's the only one awake. I guess so. He's eating a whole lot of shit for just one person, then. Could we have made the AI look a little less creepy, please? No. Eat. What do you think he's doing? Listening to the bad AI. Good. Yeah. You're hallucinating, Preston. You need to eat. And I can help Does the you. AI know that he's hallucinating? Unless it's what's causing the hallucination. Is this mother's sister? No, this is a Ven Horizon 2. Oh, even better. This is. Hopefully. What are you doing, Preston? I need to check something. No, Preston, you need to no, Preston, eat. don't open the door. About this. No, Preston, you're killing Why is she obsessed with him eating? She's trying to fatten him up for the Plymouth Rock space aliens. That would be a great twist. The best thing will be the AI is actually helping him. It's paranoid to kill him. Yeah. That'd be different, at least. Because the AI is always against you. Ever watch that 87 movie uh, Night Flyers? Mm -hmm. mm. Right, Magus. That was a fun little romp. I've arrived at the whole breach. Oh, we found Plymouth Rock. Hey guys, I'm nope. trying to kill nope. you. Nope. Nope. No, 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 Oh. I was waiting for the chest burst to move around. Venturing to uh I'm trying to help you. You're not the Vegas. What the fuck? 
Trace said, this is what happens when you fight with the walk. After all, there's nothing we can do. There's not much left to sustain us now that the supplies have run out, but we are not far from your planet. I think the ship could go a little faster. All we need to do is wait. Wait, I thought all we needed to do is eat. And feed. Okay. And feed, yes. Ah! Uh, uh, nope. This can mean only one thing. The iris. It is here. Laughing at us. We are so hungry, Preston. Starving. Keep eating, Preston. Throw up the ship. Throw no, up the goddamn ship. Preston. Listen to me. I can hurt you. How about you? Oh, he's gonna press the big red button. It's fine, Preston. You gotta feed on yourself. Hey, a screwdriver. Is that lucky? <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> We're going to need eyes to see. Or to road for that matter. Good job, Preston. You saved. I don't know who exactly. Good old Plymouth Rock. Kills everyone. <laughs> and that was the Mayflower from Alter. Yippee! Ooh. Oh, look, in the next one up there was one last meal. Yeah. Coincidence. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. My eyes. <laughs> he ate the crew. Don't you mean the iris? He ate the crew. What? No. It's what you do when the food runs out. An, an alien parasite attaches itself to you and then decides to poke out your eyeballs? <clears throat> because you're not listening. You just need to eat. I mean, at least roasted them first. Yeah, I mean, you got to make sure that the bacteria is all gone. That's true. Ugh. And of course, you got to remove all the parts that will, you know, cause damage to you later, like the brain. You, you don't touch that. Flush that shit in the space. Crewmate Tartare doesn't sound very appetizing. Uh, Ugh. All right. So oh, the indeed. next two what a blender you could grind them into paste. <laughs> the the next one that we have, oh, actually the next two that we're doing are both going to be from Cosmic Films, and this one is called A Darker Place. So I'm going to go ahead and put the link in, so you guys can click on it if you guys want to watch it on your own. And then, of course, as always, we'll have the titles of the movies and who they're from in the video description and with that we I have hit to that. wonder though could the place get any darker than the last one possibly i mean it is a darker place one can hope <laughs> phil you really you, 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 just you, press you, the you, play button you know you want it you need a lobotomy that would just make this more calm and probably more annoying. I think electric talk character would be best for you. Yeah, providing shock therapy would be interesting. Dirk, please. 
Preston was ejected. Preston was an imposter. I mean, no, Preston won. Blew the ship up. <laughs> There's something sus on that ship. What the fuck? Oh, why did this open? <laughs> Okay, kid, kid, give it away. Time, kid, kid, give it up. Sensory overload. Holy shit! What the fuck? Damn. Could you let let me ease into this a little bit? No. I kind of tinkled myself there. This is why we don't let Gus out of the basement. This... All right. This is why we keep Gertrude on hand. Okay, Gertrude, take tends to the pens. And the drinking. Do these things not realize how old I am? They'll do this to me. I'm in my mid forties. Knock it off. Yet. Gotta go down there. The dark places of portals. Swallowed. Told you. What the fuck? This is why you don't put the backgrounds in your own goddamn house. It's just one wrong turn to reach the backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. That's a doorway over there. You turn around, and, and the other one's probably gone. Oh, you make fuck it. God damn it, Steve. <laughs> well, time for that. Um... Isn't he in that like space that Eleven creates from like Stranger's Pla Stranger Place, Stranger Things? Stranger Things. Oh, you mean when she's in the sensory deprivation tank? Yeah. Mm, maybe. Except you don't need a giant ladder to get through the door. Yeah, but now the door's eye level with them. That's a different door. The other one was double doors. That's the one he came through. This is the one he's trying to get out. This is the right one. That little giant would come in handy. I mean, I guess it would. Yes, it definitely would. Can we read the warning on the door on. first? No? Okay, cool, thanks, guys. Right. I was gonna say, is that music playing? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Hold on, is that, hold on, is that tiptoe through the tulips again? Yeah, you can either see the doorways up there. Oh, look, the kids, they're drawing. Don't look up to the bed. So of course it's gonna look up to the bed. Fuck it. This is making me really uncomfortable. Can't ever sleep. No, 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 touchy. no, touchy. no, touchy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All good. Stop touching shit! <laughs> oh, come on, you knew it was gonna be there. See, 
this is why there needs to be a movie similar to the backgrounds. I mean, I don't really care for the bright yellow things and whatever, but I instantly knew that there was those dark spots were going to be like a portal to another freaking place, and it's like idiot goes right into it. <laughs> Next time, close the fucking doors and just move on. Or, I don't know, drop a grenade in there. A few flashbangs. <laughs> phosphorus grenades. Yeah, phosphorus will do it. It'll burn for a long time and keeps the light going. You guys see what happens when a phosphorus grenade goes off on a human body? Yeah, we just saw that. Yeah, we did. Hmm. Annihilation's a fun little gem, that one. Plot twist. That monster was protecting a child. That team was sent to kidnap for experiments. They get the child's nightmare, and the beast is their guardian. You know, if it was a little bit longer and they did that, that would be actually a really cool. Trace, why are you not making shorts? You're still working on the, the Westfield stuff, I suppose. Seriously. I, new game plan. Trace, I want you to make these short YouTube videos. Fuel and I will react to them, and then we'll... Because I can't, I can't afford them. them. Somebody get this man the money that he needs, please. He's got brilliant ideas. Let's just get this done. It's kind of a similar idea to me. Even simple ones aren't cheap. Yeah, that's true. I know, but you, the, the, I, I, Fuel has told me some of your stories that you guys have talked about, stuff like that. And you guys have some brilliant concepts that would make such great little short 15, 30 minute things on YouTube. And we, we know all the tropes, so we put our heads together and we come up with things that haven't been done and fucking Hollywood's just never going to do it. <laughs> However, the whole child guardian thing kind of reminds me, did, did we ever watch um, was it science fiction volume one, the Osiris child? Mm -mm. Okay. The ending of that basically is very similar to the thing. This dude turns into a creature and ends up becoming a child's fucking guardian through basically an Apocalypse, quote unquote, because of wanker corporations. So the rest of the the rest of the movie actually had ripoffs from what the hell was that other thing? Um, the Callisto Protocol game actually kind of reminded me something about that because of a prison and weird shit going on in it. But Hollywood would never take my ideas; they aren't progressive enough. Mm. True. But then Hollywood's not smart enough, so... <laughs> That's why YouTube is the place to put them. Yeah, but we need some gear. <laughs> and someone that can do special effects. Hey, Kitty! How's it going, sweetie? Characterizations wouldn't be too hard, though. We could figure that out. It's just, you know, the technical side. How you doing, Mikey? All right. So the last video that we have on our list for today, again, here's the link if you want to go watch it, support. Like I said, this one is also going to be from Cosmic Films, like the last one that we just watched, called The Eldritch Dreams. Two seconds. It is stressful at work because almost nothing works. Oh, oh you must work with fuel. Because I hear that almost every day. No, that's that nothing works. People don't work. That's a different story. Depending on how bad the people are, they are nothing. Mm. Also true. But let's get into some Lovecraftian horror, shall we? That's shall. Let me guess. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. This is true, because it would drive an individual completely fucking insane. So that's what happened to you. What are you talking about? We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft.
yeah, I mean, look what happened to Preston. And the Plymouth Rock that crashed into his fucking spaceship. <laughs> Brownstone in England. Looks like one of the places Sherlock fucking hangs out in. Arkham, Massachusetts. Oh. Well, it's Arkham, isn't it? So that's convenient. So when we're going to carry that's a modification of the idea behind Lucy, more of the mind unlocked and available than the average human and what the heck can do. When I was little, because I didn't understand initials, I thought H. <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter Lovecraft. <laughs> you know, that's a twist. <laughs> Trace, write me that story. I want the Harry Potter Lovecraft story, please. Uh, do I want Dobby is going to be like an eldritch horror from... Oh, damn. Trace. Dobby's an eldritch Talk to me later. Okay. I've got ideas already. <laughs> You're a wizard. Okay. You're Arthur Depp. <laughs> oh, oh! I already love this idea. Well, I mean, he's a wizard. He's also There's one thing you need to do. What the buying. hell? Did... No, 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 no! You assholes! I was gonna say, isn't he also the gate, the key, and everything at the same time? <laughs> Fucking. YouTube in there. Stupid. Probably also you're the answer to life, death, and everything. Forty-two. An advertisement, true horror. <laughs> no shit. All right, so just down the street from Arkham. I don't Asylum. hear anything right now, but I've been hearing it the last few days. It's got to be some sort of animal moving around. I wish I could see the other people in chat. No, I. Oh, well, Trace is over on Fuel's side. Up when I moved in. Yeah. And by the looks of it, I don't think it's. Do we dual stream this. He's over in Fuel's. Yeah, so I should probably call someone. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Okay. All right. Talk to what you later. fireplace doesn't right. want to work? It's being a bitch. But if you want to talk to Trace, you can send a message here. I could pop it up on the screen, and he can read it. It's a rope. 20 bucks says she pulls Wait, it. Hold on. No, but for a second there, I was like, is the rope moving? Like, here, use this to hang yourself. Yank Carter. I'm sure something will fall out. Yeah, like Santa Claus after he break his neck going down the chimney. I mean, you've watched Gremlins Avenue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. The Jesus, fuck me. Oh. No, okay, apparently pirates went down the chimney and left their booty behind. God damn. <laughs> uh. Uh. Pandora's hidden stash. I know, right? She'll open it up and going to okay. be filled with gold doubloons and inescapable horror. Most likely in the form of tentacles. Oh, my extra life stuff's still up on there. I'll have to make sure I get rid of that. Oh, she looks happy about it now. Oh, I was really hoping it would have like a lament configuration type thing to unlock it, but too bad. Detective Mills. What's in the box? Cthulhu statue. He's a paperweight. <gasps> Miskatonic University. Oh, wow. What we need now is the Necronomicon. Can I have that? I need that. Yeah, 
when, when the video is finished, it'll come up and say, I handcrafted these. <laughs> Nine ninety five a piece. That's the necro. No, I can't leave it. Yeah, exactly. Looks like they drew the description instead of you know, writing it down. Yeah. All those eyeballs. Can we read Sonic University Library? Clave Bass Relief. No, we want to read it. Map of. Yeah. Do I need to go yeah. back so we can read? You are here. You want to go here? Oh, hold on a second. Is that a planet? Is that Ramina in the corner? Maybe. Here would be nightmares. And a puppy. Having a good scratch. <laughs> she is shedding so bad. Son this item was donated by Frank Dyer, son of the late Professor William Dyer, found among his father's belongings. It was reportedly found during a scientific a, a scientific expedition of Antarctica during 1918. The sculpture depicts well, my friends that are completely alien to those of Earth. What well, study is needed to gain an adequate understanding of its meaning? Yeah, in Antarctica in 1918. Hmm. Not quite amount to madness. Mm -hmm. Titled Kitab al Azif, or Necronomicon, is believed to have been written in the early 8th century by Abdul Al, is it al Hazred. The contents of the book are full of strange. Bye, kitty. Books. Have fun. Some of the writings. Sorry, you have to go back to work. In ancient arcane rituals, there are numerous passages written in a language that is currently unknown to any scholar. No, description It's a book. Relics from eh, Mount of Madness. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if that was actually set in Antarctica, that makes sense. Or it could be the thing. Mm. Or because uh, the penguins were involved in the Mountains of Madness, it could be Thingu. Amanda, you must watch that afterwards. The Cleo sculpture was created by Henry Anthony Wilcox of Providence. Rhode Island. Okay, so in 1925, it boasts a figure of some sort of monster or a symbol representing a monster. The figure features simultaneous pictures of an octopus. A dragon and a human caricature. Cryptic hieroglyphs cover it. It's the stand on which the figure sits. The item is said to have strange psychological effects on those who handle it. Stop touching okay. the objects. First off, stop calling my god a monster. Second, can I have it because I really want to try out these psychological effects because I want to handle it. You can't even handle me laughing at these videos. Yeah, but maybe it'll help me understand you more if I go fucking criminally insane. Or you'll go on a rampage and that'll just give me more things to learn about. Either way, win-win. I guess. <laughs> Straight watching scary videos. Yeah. You know, I was excited in a hidden vault during archaeological excavation of the Mayan region of Chiapas, Mexico in 19... 26. Wasn't Sirius Sam also down in that area? In the future, the same figure depicted in iTunes. Hashtag 70765 is reportedly the sea of worship of the newly discovered Cthulhu cult. Yes, and Amanda was buried alongside. Dude, I'd be so okay with that. <laughs> By the way, this has an awful lot of rules like an SCP creature. I'm just saying. Something wrong with that? No, I'm just saying. It comes with a decoder ring and a secret message that when translated says... <laughs> yeah. I can never pronounce all of that. But... I thought when you translated it with a decoder ring, it says drink more Ovaltine. 
Or am I the only one who knows that oh, Christmas story? Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, Trace, you need to you need to try and translate that into German because it'll sound way angrier. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, everything that's in German sounds angry as fuck. Robbie was robbed. <laughs> Damn straight he was. Took his eye off the ball like fucking Patrick. Hey! I can't read that fast, lady! Ooh. Um, you don't need to read those. Um, Look, everybody, new tattoo ideas. Hi, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you right now. I'm thinking about joining a cult. What's this? Hold on, German. Inside the house is really what a damn to talk on. Traumant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. <sighs> you alarm me? Oh my fuck off! In his house, at Rahalia. Dead Cthulhu waits. Dreaming. Whilst the iris is here, laughing at us. Stupid fucking commercials. And don't worry, honey. She said she was coming. I was about to make a joke, and then the commercial came out. I was going to say, don't worry. Anytime I go anywhere near Cthulhu, I do the same thing. This is when Cthulhu's little statue is going to start dancing. And glowing so. green. Because he's powered by plutonium. I hope so. Drive them all insane. Oh, it's Fuel's place! Shh, don't tell everyone. I mean, it does remind me of my pyramid in the void, so... See, I know what's happening here. The dreams are giving her a lady boner. That's why she's restless. Um, look, Cthulhu just See? does that to women. Get over it. Yeah, it's all those tentacles, right? Mm-hmm. Just, just getting flushed. Yeah, which means I do have to find my Santa Cthulhu. I haven't found him yet. Blessed by his doodly appendages. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, great. Yep. That conversation. Better Everything's be like one okay. color in this thing. Yeah, yeah it's colored works. like a drab brown. Okay, yeah. I'll see you then. Bye. The, those white walls that. The, like a beige brown. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the lighting. The lighting does that. Yeah. Something about it. I mean, it automatically gets a pass because we're talking Cthulhu. That's right. Read the book. It's like seeing the world through dog's eyes. Yeah, true. Like how it automatically... Like <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, I was looking up... Um, was, it, um, was it the BTK killer... The Boston and the Hillside Strangler, and as soon as I typed in the first word, it kept it actually found those particular people straight away. Good old Google. In color. Waiting to liberate them. Hold on. Uh -uh. No, no, no. I, I could read some of that, but I don't, I'm not good with that writing. When the stars blank ready, and cult would always be waiting to liberate right. them. Yeah. Human 
bitch. Stay on the page at one time. I see it with terrible vividness. The so damp, damp cyc is it cyclopean? Cyclopean city of slimy green stone. The geometry is all wrong. Cthulhu, yeah, in his house. The wretched phase that never stops. Yeah, in his house of Riley. Cthulhu for talking. And keys can step the frames if you need to pinpoint something. That is true. I always forget about that because I don't use the keyboard for that shit. Why do I keep seeing it? I now That's feel blah, 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 at my vitals, blah, terror, which seemingly, seemingly leave until, until I am at, am at rest. Rest. Why do I keep seeing it? Because it's the only thing this world needs. I need to see a crude drawing in a book. For him to rise and just give me yeah, the apocalypse yeah, I want. He's not actually rising. You're just seeing the location. Yes, but... See? Because Fizzy's rising in the back there. She's still in the oh, she just ran off. Yeah, no, she's gone. <laughs> well, somebody hasn't given her T-R-E-A-T -E yet. Oh, that's all, you know, that's always lovely. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fizzgig? Fizzgig? Fizzy! Come here, baby. Oh, Jesus. That's a recipe for baked mac and cheese. I mean, food of the gods, man. Here alongside you go, uh, alongside Pineapple's animal crackers, okay, according to Nun Peace. <laughs> now the true beast of all has been fed. The Chihuahua. Illustration of Pikmin's model, yeah. There's I Cthulhu. Brain with tentacles and an eyeball. I fear I, I fear that I've lost my grip on sanity. Sanity, yeah. That's a nice out. profile pic of him. Oh. You notice that the wings are coming out of its head. There's no body. It's just a head that floats around in space. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like fucking Unicron. <laughs> it's just a head that floats around in space now. She touched it! She's been reading from the damn book. I mean, that's bad enough. <laughs> or in my case, good enough. You are now possessed. I would take your sword. I can't put it back now. Too late. The real question is... Um, how did they get there in the in her chimney? chimney. Yeah, she, she didn't. She's not asking the questions. He did. Okay. Oh, she's a merry chaser. Yeah, you've, you've got the wrong icons there, buddy. She wakes up and the box is right next to her. Every night it gets closer, closer. statue talks to her. It says, make me that fucking... Hey, sexy! Beast. For I am starving and in need of sustenance. Also, that fish really pisses me off.
We have now seen the one true God. Don't 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 believe Hi. the false I'm lies sure of the spaghetti monster. About this, but I found a box full of things that I think belong to the she library. She has her masters in psychology. Damn, she fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it now. looks like it's from a former employee. Maybe uh, there's a bunch of papers and artifacts, and they have Miskatonic Library all over them. Yeah, yeah. I figured I'd try returning them where they came from. Then the next day, it's right back on your doorstep. Mickey and Marion go up together. Stalking. Jenny, this is Mickey. Who the hell puts hair ties on both wrists? Well, Mickey. Uh, I don't know. Like... It's the island. Place from that game, the shore. Oh, yeah. Or a movie <laughs> that Hi! Hey, squid face. Kind of looks like a suction cup for a mouth. Just melts away into the shadow. And this is why you Oh fuck off That's the most frightening part yet. Bloody advertisement. You're supposed to only have a commercial every eight minutes. You've given me three and it's only been that's just Frank. 13. Doesn't say that much, that one, but he makes a fantastic <laughs> Pico de Calo and Taco Tuesday. She touches it. Of course she does. I mean, man's got to have a hobby. Yeah, oh, well, we're just going to put it. <laughs> you put that thing back where it came from, we're so happy. I was waiting for her to set it on fire because that's usually when it comes back in one piece. You know? Like the fucking dolls that try to kill you. <laughs> Just oh dear God, that's not gonna save you. Get over it. I'm trying to remember who that is. Looks like a Boy Scout. Is she going to burn some sage as well? <laughs> It's 8 o'clock at night. Good lord, how old are you? Do you have to Twelve. get up at like 2 in the morning to go to work? That's great. Hi. Hi, my name is Alice Atwood. I made a call about a week ago about some artifacts I found from the library. The person in charge was supposed to call me back, but I haven't heard from them. Yeah, Frank probably Can't hated. you just take it to the museum like a normal person? What? No, apparently instead she's going to waste her time trying to sleep and fail because, you know... Damn, she's sleeping with the fucking light on. Does that just make it worse? See, now she's going nuts. Just give in and join us, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we want to put the pillows down there it's, as well, you know, so you can take a nap oh, next to it. Lord. Fucking hell, woman.
the skin is moving, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for fuck's sake, the collection isn't helping. I can't sleep. Cthulhu will eat me. <laughs> or maybe just Frank. Maybe that'll be less disturbing. Just a smidge. I don't want to be made into tacos, Frank. Is it time for the sage? Is it time nope, for she's just gonna burn the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Should have gone with that to begin with, but you know. hear that voice from the dark one the game dead and rude you are beyond the reach of god here Just for irony's sake, if this ends with her being pregnant with Cthulhu baby. I'm going to start checking people's fireplaces for a fucking pirate chest. Oh, look, it is Ramina. Uh-huh. Tell, <laughs> tell me about your sleeping issues. Woman, it's been 84 years. Um, did I miss something? She opened the box. And the shitstorm came. And then they put her in the box. And why can't my dreams be like that? What, well, when you end up in a rubber room? Well, not ending up in a rubber room, but more dreams about <laughs> Cthulhu would be nice. Yeah. I suppose you're right. So, is that all? That is all we have for today. But don't worry. We have an entire playlist. So we'll be able to do more. Plus, we got some more of the uh, Phobos coming. And we've got a couple of other ideas. And I got a couple of ideas for Christmas specials as well. So we have plenty to do this for the rest of this year. Yay. I'm sure everyone is thrilled. Similar to the one of the Roy was pending in eternal darkness. He found a path in the depths of the earth inside the mansion that led to an ancient city of horrors. He survived it and tried to warn people, and they committed him to an asylum. That's why you That's don't try to warn I'm people. Just people do. Look, I don't think y'all have figured this out yet. Trying to warn people that danger is coming is just going to put you in the same box. Now, taking that information and starting a cult, you're A-OK. -okay. Hmm. Yes. Well, you create I mean, cult, in all honesty, that's... The cult, <laughs> and... Yeah. What? <laughs> Look how many cults have been around. But if those people yeah. went out and said, oh, blah, 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 on a normal basis, they would have been put in a nut well, house. Let's just call it what it really is, religion. Um. Scientology. Um, I mean, hmm. sorry, I need to say that out loud because they'll come for me. Last thing I need is... No, no, that's not true, because most of them will get trapped in the closet. 
Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys. But as always, thank you to everybody who showed up. Kitty, Trace, or thank you guys so much for supporting both of the channels. We greatly appreciate it. We hope that you guys have been enjoying uh, our second season of The Dark Descent into Horror. As always, make sure that you check out Feel the Hatred right here on Twitch, on YouTube at Feel the Hatred. Um, his TikTok at Feel the Hatred and his Twitter at Feel Hatred. And if you more, need more AGP, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, and of course, over on YouTube. On that note, everybody, I want to thank you all for joining us and we will see you all on the next one. Say goodbye, Fuel. I could, but I, I'm, I'm just going to be here the whole time. It's going to be seven days. <laughs> <laughs>